Hello, this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy, and I decided to do one more video this week. Um, sometimes I don't get around to doing videos on a certain week, so I try to do a little extra sometimes. This one is a very simple one. I fell in love with it, and the colors, they show color combinations through the Stampin' Up! website on some of the things that go with the new ink colors. But this is not one of them they showed, and thanks to my granddaughter, uh, I was making some of those little notepads, and she decided she wanted one. She said, I want it in blue. So I made it in blue, but I used the Lemon Lime Twist uh, for, the, for her notepad as an accent, and I decided to do a card in these colors, just to show you how pretty they are together. So what I have, I made... I used the stamp set of uh, uh, Flourishing Crazes for the sentiment, sorry. And then I used the uh, uh, dies, is the stitched shapes dies, and I used the second one out for this. And then I used the layering ovals, and I used the number three scallop for that one. And, and I also used the flowering flourishes. Uh, or florist thinlets, I'm sorry, and this is the one I used on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping, and I'm going to show you what I did on the stamping. Actually, I want to go ahead and show you what I did for how to make this. I'm using a standard eight and a half by five and a half card, and it's scored at four and a quarter. But what I did was I took a whisper white piece and I did it, I cut it at a five and a quarter by four and then I turned it on my uh, trimmer and just, uh, sorry, cut it at an angle so that I could have this little angle. Then I did the same thing with my designer series paper and this is the new in color designer series papers. It's the only thing you can get the uh, designer series papers in now. But I love these because the the blue night of navy that we had, this is their version of that, but it's in all the new in colors. Uh, this happens to be quartz of the lemon lime twist, and on this one I used this pattern, which I really liked. But on this one I thought I'd use a solid, more solid pattern, and I'm also going to come from this angle. But I did the same thing with this one. It's a five by three and three quarters, and I cut it at an angle. So let's go ahead and do our stamping now because I'll show you what I did for what I'm going to do for the stamping. Let me grab my mat over here. Oh, I don't need my mat. This is not photopolymer. Duh. Okay, this is the Tempting Turquoise Ink. And I'm going to stamp this down, make sure I've got it right. And I'm going to stamp it right in here on this piece right here. Let it set for a second. Pull it up. Beautiful. Now I'm going to close this up. That's all the stamping I did. And I'm going to cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to wait till the plane went over too. Um, I forgot to tell you the sizes that I cut out for these. Uh, for the background blue, I have the 3x2. Three, uh, three you probably still hear that back in the background, sorry. Uh, we live by a base. Okay, and what I cut the flower out with was a 5 by 3 So, that's those. And like I said, they're already cut out. I'm going to go ahead and put these two together. Grab my fast fuse. I got a little helper here today that's helping me do some of my cutting out. Say hello, Brandon. Hello. This is my grandson. Okay. Get on there straight, would ya? That's good. Okay. I'm going to set this off to the side because I want to come back to my this part now. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and um, of course, I'm going to use my fast fuse. Okay. 
Oops, going off the edge. Don't do that. If you go off the edge, just kind of push it down with your finger. And you can come back later with the uh, racer, which I don't like doing, but I have had to do that a few times. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to do it with this one. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my base card, which is also tempting turquoise. I'm trying to get this done before that <laughs> plane comes back around. keep getting crooked and having to pick it up okay now I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and of course most of you know I use my glue in just a few places oh, silly me oh wait there's one here that I didn't get out I just happened to see it Come out, come out. Okay, now we can do this. Oh, that's one thing with me. I try not to use too much Tombow, and sometimes it just wants to come out fast. So I try to keep her paper towel. I haven't mastered the art with that. Oh, fine tip glue yet. Oh, did you see what I just did? I can't believe I just did that. I'll try to get the flower right there so it doesn't. And like I said, I can use the eraser later. But when you use the eraser, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this day. I don't usually have that much trouble with my Tombow. It's like it doesn't want to come out. And then when it comes out, it comes out in this big glob. Okay. A few more places to catch it. It's doing a little better now. I say that and then it quits working for me. Okay, we're going to flip this over. And this time we're going this direction, so I'm going to get it right about there. And then set it down carefully. I might need just a little bit under this one because it wants to pop up. Sorry, I talk to myself a lot, I know. Please don't come out all at once. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I got a couple of places I'm gonna come back with on the eraser. Cause my, I wasn't working very good with the Tombow this morning. Don't know why. Okay, this gets. Put up on dimensionals. And then I'm going to just stick it right down here. I think I actually like prefer this one better because this way this shows up better. And this one I didn't want it off to the side here. So I like this one better. <laughs> and I like the darker color because everything seems like it just flows with that one. 
so there is my card and I know I always make them look not so simple but they are oops I'm moving everything around sorry anyway that's the third card for this week and I will try to get them all edited and uploaded soon this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy thank you